See, I've been bumped before. I can never let. Never let him know, but we don't ghost him. <laughs> I'm eating finished steak and I'm mm, not choking. That's good. First to cook for Jack is recruitment consultant Siobhan. I have been single for three years. That is through choice because so far I've not met someone that's good enough. If I'm honest. So who would be Mr. Good Enough? I'd say I'd go for more personality. You'll be able to tell if I like someone, so I'll probably start mucking up all my words, or my hands get clammy. <laughs> my worst dating story was when me and my ex-boyfriend went out and he got a bit too drunk and he pooed himself. Maybe don't share that story tonight. The perfect guy to knock on my door. Tall, handsome, millionaire. Well, your VIP date is definitely two of the above. I'm feeling nervous, excited. I'm hoping that this girl is up for a laugh. It's going to make me feel, like, relaxed and just generally, like, warm. If she recognises me, I do get a bit embarrassed. I'm, but I'm definitely not bringing it up. Definitely not. No way. I'm not nervous. I'm um, intrigued. Yeah, hopefully he likes the food. And if you don't like the food, hopefully that's me. Will Jack's date with Siobhan be jokes? Or will they cut to the chase? Hello. Or will Jack be well embarrassed nice if she recognises his famous face? Oh, wait, I've done it. Where do I recognise you from? Um... People normally scream out, Towie. It's not Towie, but. Oh, no. It's not Towie. It's Love but... Island. Yeah. It? I've just remembered who you are. Yeah. You sell pens. Yeah, that's it. Oh, my I like to think, I like to think that's in a better league than Towie. No yeah. offense, Towie. I don't watch either, to be fair. Do not you? I'm not going to lie. Mm. I watch like, documentaries. I love a documentary. You've been cooking all day. Yeah. Can you cook? No. Oh, that's sad. I live with my best mate, and like we, we go to start cooking. It ends up, <laughs> ends up being a potato waffle and a, and a, and a little chicken, a bit of chicken. Bread and chicken. <laughs> Lovely, yeah. Shut up. Promise you. Is, actually... Is that what I've got to look forward to? Well, you're cooking for me. <laughs> She's definitely somebody that you, you could go out and have a laugh with. She seemed like a, like, like a lovely girl. Literally watched the, the season he was in. Um, was it with Danny Dyer? Ah, Danny Dyer. <laughs> That's Danny Dyer's ex-boyfriend. Yeah, he's not my normal type, but he's really handsome. Promising start. Siobhan stacks her halloumi, roasted onions, peppers, aubergine and sweet potato, then adds her sour cream dip and the starter is served. Oh, yummy. Your chilli dip on the side didn't go to plan. What do you mean it didn't go to plan? What did you do to it? I'm not eating mine. We put it in petrol. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that was nice. By the way, I'm a really quick eater, so don't... Uh, uh. Oh, I'm well slow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well slow. Talk to me, then. What's, what do you like doing with yourself? I'm in, like, the music industry. So that's... Oh, so what do you mean, are you in the music industry? Do you sing? Yeah. yeah. I, knew, I knew you could sing. <laughs> yeah, singer. I'm a singer. I used to be into the bigger league rave scene. I'm that's actually a well-renowned garage MC. Yeah. I'll be your hat man, yeah? OK, then. Big, big, big one. <laughs> big one. we got the fillet steak on deck, yeah? One, two, three, here we go. He can make me happy, but he'd rather make me cry. Make so me cry. <laughs> so I had to let him go. Had to let him go. <laughs> See, I've been burnt before, I can never let... Never let him <laughs> know, but we don't ghost him. <laughs> I'm here eating fillet steak and I'm mm, not choking. That's good. I've really enjoyed that. Is it? Yeah, really enjoyed that. <laughs> When the crowd say Siobhan balls, didn't so MC done. that coming. Time for pudding. Creme brulee. Mate, <laughs> don't look bad at all. No, what's Mate, it? this is my nan's favourite dessert. Man, that ain't bad at all. What's it like for you dating and um, being well-known and that? I find it really hard to trust anyone. I've, I've had girls, yeah, that don't even know who I am, and they go, as what's, your, what's they... your Instagram? And I go, all right, and I'll get it up to, to Adam. They see a blue tick. And all of a sudden, they fancy her. Yeah. Hang on a minute, you thought I was an ugly Exactly. Girl, Time to get the taxi out of the garage and get MC Jack home. Dinner and this date are done. So what did Jack make of his first date? I had a really, really nice evening. We had loads in common. Um, the food was actually bang on. It gave me the opportunity to let her know that I'm a hype man inside the place. I got on with him like house and fire. I think, yeah, I think it was like I'd known him for years. My friends that are obsessed with Love Island, they'll be freaking out. If that was my best mate opened the door, she would have passed out. <laughs> <laughs>
So, how did Siobhan rate her celebrity date? I've been pleasantly surprised. He did really make me laugh. So, for that alone, I'm going to give him two out of three stars. So that's two stars for Jack from Siobhan. Jack made her laugh, and Siobhan's food couldn't have been greater. So when it comes to a second date, will this celebrity hype man want to MC her later?